Bias has several different meanings, but in the context of our basic statistics course, the meaning of bias is something that has gone wrong while conducting a sample survey. Something has happened that is going to make the results meaningless or less meaningful. There are three main types of error that happen during the conduction of a sample survey that cause bias. Data collection error happens when you make a mistake while collecting the data. Data handling error happens when you are making a mistake while processing the data. And finally, reporting error is when you are reporting something that is not true about the statistical survey's results. Let's look at some specific examples. One of the students who I have asked to do a survey to find the new name for the ice hockey team is Fred. And the way Fred goes about doing his sample survey is he asks the question of all of the students in his math class and also in the classes that he has that morning, which are his history and biology classes. What he's doing wrong, which introduces bias, is he is asking only people who are in the same grade level as him. In a large high school, there are several different grade levels, and the wishes of all of the people in the other grade levels are going to be very much underrepresented in the results to Fred's survey. This is a form of data collection error. Another of the students who has been asked by his math teacher to collect data in the form of a sample survey about the ice hockey team's new name is Alan. Alan is a bit lazy, but he is doing a good job of making sure to stratify the data. He convinces one friend from each grade level to collect data from students of the same age as themselves. But one of these friends is sick the next day, and Alan submits the results that were collected by all of the other friends and forgets to submit the data collected by the sick friend. This is a, an example of bias caused by data handling error. He was collecting the data in a way that was good, but then when it came time to handle the data, he forgot to submit all of the results from one certain grade level. He has introduced bias because the desires of the students from that grade level are not included in the results. Another student who has been asked to do the survey for the name for the new ice hockey team is Chad. Chad asks five boys and five girls from each grade level. But the most popular choice is the giraffes. And Chad thinks that is a stupid name for a winter sports team, so he removes it from the results. Chad has actually introduced bias in two different ways here. The first way is he's only asking five boys and five girls from each grade level. This is going to be a very small sample size. And if our high school has a thousand students, we should be asking a much larger total sample size than that. That is data collection error in the form of a low sample size. And it is bias. But that's not the only form of bias that Chad has introduced into his survey. By removing the stupid name giraffes from the results, he is introducing bias in reporting error. He is giving the impression that the results were some other animal names, and it's a false impression. In reality, the most popular name was the giraffes. In fact, Chad is actually making his data collection error with a low sample size even worse as well. Because he is removing the most popular choice from a sample size that was already too small, he made it even smaller. So Chad has found a way to introduce bias in several different ways into this sample survey. Another student who I have asked to conduct a survey is Maria. Maria stands in the girls' restroom and makes sure to ask equal numbers of girls from each grade level the question, what animal would they like the new hockey team to be named after? But Maria has introduced bias because she's only asking girls. And this decision should be made by all of the students in the school, both boys and girls. This is another form of data collection error. When you are given a situation involving a sample survey and asked to find one or more sources of bias in that situation, it is not enough to just tell me that there is data collection error or data handling error. I still want to know how the person who did the survey made these errors. 
The thing to ask yourself is simply, what is being done wrong by these people when they do this survey in this way? Explain what they are doing that is causing the bias, and therefore you are identifying the source of the bias.